In this demonstration, you'll learn how to perform a mechanism reduction using ChemKin Pro in Reaction Workbench. At this point, I have loaded a master reaction mechanism describing the combustion of N-heptane in a closed homogeneous batch reactor and defined an ignition delay calculation. This is a parameter study which explores the effects of changes in temperature and molar equivalents on the combustion process within the defined operating range. I can use this range of conditions to reduce the master mechanism by excluding elementary steps and intermediate species using approximation methods. Note that the listed range of conditions represent the low and high initial temperatures during heat release with the corresponding lean and rich equivalence ratios. To continue, reducing the reaction mechanism prior to calculation can vastly improve the computational cost of each simulation in the parameter study. I can start the mechanism reduction process by opening the reaction workbench and choosing the mechanism reduction action. First I need to set up my working directory. Files written during the calculation will be saved in this directory. The initial ChemKim project contains the master mechanism. This also becomes the target ChemKim project. Several different methods of mechanism reduction are available. The first two methods, Directed Relation Graph DRG, and Directed Relation Graph with Error Propagation DRG -EP, are most commonly used. In fact, it is always recommended that you start a reduction process with either DRG or DRG -EP, since the other methods work best with smaller skeletal mechanisms. I can choose to use linear lumping to group together isomers and further reduce the skeletal mechanism. This can be done after or before the reduction process or not done at all. In this case, I won't be using linear lumping. Next, I need to choose target parameters which are evaluated for each produced mechanism and used to compare the reduced mechanism to the master mechanism. For this example, the targets will be ignition delay and NO exhaust. Tolerance definition allows me to control how much the reduced mechanism can differ from the master mechanism. Absolute tolerance defines how much the target parameters determined from the reduced mechanism may differ from the same parameters determined from the master mechanism. In this case, the ignition delay may differ by 1 microsecond and the NO mole fraction may differ by 1 ppm. Relative tolerance controls how large the percent difference between target parameters in the reduced mechanism and master mechanism can be. In this case, a relative tolerance cutoff of 10% is used. Target parameters can be determined a few different ways. In this case, the targets will be determined from the endpoint value of the ignition delay and the maximum value of the NO mole fraction. Next, I will define the species which will be conserved in the reduced mechanism. In addition to the species already listed, I want carbon monoxide to be in the reduced mechanism. As previously mentioned, I had set up a parameter study. In the Select Conditions tab, the conditions outlined by each parameter are listed and, by selecting a parameter, I am choosing under which conditions the mechanism is reduced. Multiple parameters may be selected, allowing for batch reduction, which would normally be done in practice. In this case, I will reduce the mechanism under a single set of conditions. OK, now I will reduce the mechanism according to the species and conditions I specified. The mechanism reduction process has started and will continue until a mechanism that reaches the error tolerance threshold is found. Notice that the master mechanism contains 980 species. After 11 trials, the optimal reduced mechanism has been found. Using this mechanism reduction method, I reduce the number of species from 980 to just 159. This should vastly reduce the computational cost of the ignition delay analysis. Under the Next Steps tab, I can choose to save the mechanism and use it later, or perform another reduction using a more computationally involved method. This concludes this demonstration showing you how to reduce a reaction mechanism using the Reaction Workbench in ANSYS ChemKim Pro.